It's said that the eyes are the window to the soul. But if you're a professional wrestler, it's the scars that actually tell the story of what your soul holds. Whether it be because of torture, because of punishment, because of conflict. The scars are the things that separate us from people who won't get into the ring and fight for a living. It's one thing to observe a tiger in a cage. It's another thing to take that step forward and to poke that tiger with a stick. But would you poke that tiger if there was no cage there? Would you even approach that tiger? It takes far more than the average person to even contemplate that, let alone do that. To face your worst nightmare, to face your fears, to face the fact that you may never be the same again. When you step into the world of the Blackpool Combat Club, this isn't playing at being a professional wrestler anymore. This is the world of being a professional wrestler, a world where pain is a constant, where torture is just done for fun, where inflicting as much punishment on your opponents as is possible is what we do. When people are trying to impress others with their incredible skills or their holes, we are dragging somebody down on the floor and making them feel like they're dying a thousand deaths. We are taking people onto the mat and taking off their skin. We are sticking our elbows and our chins into parts of their bodies that they didn't know they could feel pain in. And not only feel pain, but start to scream in agony and cry and wish that they'd never taken up this profession. This is what you're doing when you face anyone in the Blackpool Combat Club. We will take you down, we will throw you, we will hit you, but every time we take you down or throw you or hit you, it will be harder, it will be more violent, it will be more punishing than anyone else you've ever faced. That is something that we revel in. If you gave a hundred people a knife and told them to inflict punishment on the person that they hate the most in the world, 99% of those people would stab that person. The people in the Blackpool Combat Club wouldn't. We would cut you down the cheek because being stabbed you'll forget about in six months. I prefer to think that all of us in the Blackpool Combat Club would get more pleasure out of knowing that every morning that you wake up, you're going to look in the mirror and you're going to remember us because of the scars we left on you.